Paint Effects is a great tool for adding an incredible amount of detail to your scenes. Paint Effects can also be made to interact with geometry that you add to your scene. In this scene, we have a fish tank with several Paint Effects objects added to it and a hazardous waste barrel just sitting on the gravel. Let's create a paint effect and have it interact with the waste barrel. We want to cause the paint effect to collide with the barrel when it moves through the scene. Make sure the paint effect shelf is open. Then make sure the rendering menu set is visible. If it is not, choose rendering from the menu set dropdown. In the camera one viewport, click to select the gravel shape object. In the paint effect shelf, make it paintable. Then click get brush to open the visor. In the visor, open the underwater folder in the left folder view. You may have to scroll down in order to open it. In the underwater folder, click the Anemone Branches Paint Effects brush. Using the Anemone Branches brush, click and drag a brush stroke just a little bit in front of the barrel. Once you've created an anemone, close the visor and press Q on the keyboard. Make sure the attribute editor is open. In the attribute editor, Click the Anemone Branches 1 tab. First, change the global scale value to 20 and press Enter. In order to make the barrel collide with the Anemone Paint Effects, we need to make it a Paint Effects Collision Object. Make sure the Anemone Paint Effect is selected. Then, holding the Shift key, click to select the barrel. From the main menu, choose Paint Effects Make Collide. Depending on how many anemone strokes there are, it may take a minute or two to calculate. Click to select just the barrel. Press W on the keyboard to activate the Move tool. In order to move the barrel along a plane, hold the Control key down. Let's move the barrel along the XZ plane by clicking and dragging the Y axis arrow. As we move the barrel, notice that when we collide with the anemone, the paint effect interacts with the barrel geometry. Besides colliding with an object, we can cause paint effect strokes to be attracted to an object. Open the Outliner. From the Outliner, select Stroke Anemone Branches 1 to select the paint effects object. Make sure the Anemone Branches 1 tab is visible. Open the Tubes rollout. Then open the Behavior rollout. Now open the Forces rollout. In the Forces rollout, set the Surface Attract value to 1. Set the Max Attract Distance to 15. You'll notice immediately that the anemone changes so that some of its branches are facing the barrel object, while others that are further away outside of the max value are not. Select the barrel object again and hold the control key down as you click and drag the Y axis to move the barrel around. Don't move the barrel directly into the anemone. Move it around the outside of it. Notice that as you move the barrel, the anemone branches face towards the barrel. And if you collide with the anemone branches, they are deflected by the barrel. If you move the barrel outside of the anemone's max value distance, the branches relax as if there is no object for them to be attracted to. You can see how this can be a very powerful tool that can help you create much more interactive paint effect scenes. You can also use it to set up paint effects that you are going to convert to geometry as well. I encourage you to take the time and do some experimentation.